So if you've ever written an academic paper, you may wonder, how can you ensure that all the citations in your text are listed in your reference section? Well, I'm going to address that issue in this short video. My name's Dr. Brett Jones, and I'm a professor of educational psychology in the School of Education at Virginia Tech. And if you want more information about me, here's my website. So here you can see that I've opened up my paper, and I want to make sure that all of these citations in the text, like this Christensen one and Wenzel, are actually in my reference section. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Of course, there are programs that will help you with this, like EndNote. Um, I just prefer to do it my way because I found it um, to work better for me. Uh, so what I do is, the first thing is go down to your reference section and copy all of your references into another document because you don't want to keep scrolling up and down in the same document. So I'm going to take these, I'm actually going to cut them right out of here and I'm going to paste them into this blank document that I have over here. And so you can see they all showed up over here. Now what I'm going to do is go back to my original document and I'm going to search by using Control F, the find feature. And when I do that, this navigator opens up and I'm going to search for an open parentheses. And so this is a trick I figured out. And when you do that and press the button here to search for the first one, you can see that it comes to the um, Christensen reference right here. So now I want to make sure that this is in my reference list at the end. So I go back over here and I find Christensen, um, which is right here. And I'm going to look for the 2012A1, which is right here. And so I'm going to highlight that yellow. And the reason I do that is that now I know that it's in my reference section and that I've cited it in the paper. Okay, so one down, several more to go. <laughs> now I'm going to look for Wenzel. And so I come back over here, I look in my list for Wenzel, and it was the 2016 one, which is right here. Highlight that in yellow. And now I've done these two references. I know they're in my reference section. Now I'm going to keep going and look for the next parentheses. Well, the next parentheses doesn't have any references. Um, so I go to the next one. And same thing here. No references. Go to the next one. Here I see, again, Christensen et al., 2012a. So I remember that I already had that, um, which is great. Um, at all. Um, the first one should have had it written all the way out, but the way this uh, journal required it was for me to use at all for all of these. So anyway, you can make sure that that's set. Now I'm going to keep going. So I have that one. I go to the next one, one Fredericks at all. Um, and so you can see what's happening here. Now with Fredericks, I have some other ones. I have to check Fredericks, Reeve, and Sinatra. And I'll come over here and highlight those. And so by the end, um, and you'll see here that I actually don't have Fredericks in here. If I come back, I'm looking for Fredericks at all. Uh, it's not in here. So now I know that I have to put in Fredericks right here. And then I can highlight that yellow. So I had one missing and so forth. Now when I get to the end of the document of, through the process of doing this, you know, I'm going to have a lot of these highlighted. Now, the ones that aren't highlighted in yellow, when I'm completely finished, I'll know that I didn't cite these in my paper. So I can delete these, just keep the yellow ones, and then go back, um, assuming that all of these were yellow. Uh, I can then select all of them, cut them out of here, come back over here, and paste them back into the document at the end, and now I know that I only have the references that are listed in my text. I don't have any extras. I'm not missing any. And everything is correct. So I hope this helped you to think about uh, an easy way to do this and to find out what you're missing. And good luck with writing your papers.